Good afternoon at my regular time. Um, welcome to my daily broadcast. This is episode number 658. And the topic today is Feminine Women in Power Rock. And this is going to be a reference to yesterday, um, to the event I was at yesterday, also to some experience I've been having recently. So I wanted to just do a quick little chat about that. So before I jump into the chat, sorry, before I jump into the talk thing, <laughs> Let me introduce myself in case you haven't seen my broadcast before, because um, I do this every day. Um, my name is Barry Selby. Ta-da, surprise, if you haven't seen me before. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's also what inspired these talks that I started over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And... Uh, that I've abbreviated to MFTM to get more room in the title, but that's what it stands for, the whole thing. So today we're episode number 658, and the topic today is Feminine, pow Feminine Women in Power Rock. And I'm going to reference something, I was at an event yesterday, which I mentioned when I did my broadcast at 11 p.m. last night, because it was just a very full day. So I want to speak to a couple of things I was, I was aware of, because the statement, as I said, it stands, than anything else. But I want to add a little bit more flavor, and a little bit more perspective on that topic. Um, so yesterday I was at a business mastermind and then a business networking event in Orange County down there in, um, it was Newport and Fashion Island, two different places, but back to back. Um, and a full day of talking, meeting, connecting, networking, it was really a lot, a lot of fun. But what I sort of was watching was, was watching the common threads through the whole day. And there was a couple, there was a woman running the events, both events, with some support from other, some other women too. And I watched them facilitate the process. Now, there are a lot of men there too, because it, it was actually um, specializing in veterans and some things about that that happened to be the secondary part. Even though it was about business networking, entrepreneurial conversations and other things like that, there were a lot of vets there too. So, And some of the women who were there were vets, veterans, not, not animal vets. I'm talking about veterans, which is to be clear. And so I was watching and observing and being grateful for this diverse array of women that represented what I would believe as strong feminine leadership in different ways. And at the same time, there were some women there who weren't being feminine. I can very clearly um, express that too. And what was interesting to me was to notice the, the, um, the difference, simply put. And when I saw women who are leading from a place of feminine leadership, and I'm going to give you some offshoots to indicate what I mean that's not that, so you know what it is if that makes sense. It was, there was a sense of collaboration and grace, and sometimes it was efforting, but it was done from a place of let's get it done collaboratively, and collaboratively for the best of all. When women weren't being in that space, there were two different ways they went, generally speaking, and this is true in life, not just at the events I was at, so I'm using this as a, as a uh, microcosm of the macrocosm. So you may know about this in your life or about people around you, so ladies who are in who are out of alignment with their feminine, tend to go one of two ways that I've become very aware of recently, and because of yesterday's experience especially. Some go into a place where they basically have to do it like the men do it, and get it done and be very forceful and adamant without any grace and flow. Um, I'll get to a sidebar in a moment, I'll come back to that. On the other side of the spectrum, they become very petty and very um, whiny. And I'm using that term not about emotion, not about how they talk, but the energy they bring. If you understand what I mean by a whiny energy, you know what I mean, which basically is a pulling, tedious, um, small ego energetic, if that makes sense. So those are the two places that a lot of women go to. And I'm, used to, I'm not going to talk about men in this context because men have their own issues. <laughs> Let me be clear about that. But in the context of how I see women when they're out of alignment with their feminine and when they're in their feminine. And what I'm very aware of is when a woman in their feminine there's a sense of relaxation that happens, and it's not necessarily in the efforting, but it's almost like they can handle themselves. And it's a beautiful thing to watch. It was funny because, again, there was a wide spectrum of women there. Entrepreneurial women, there were some leadership women, there were some women in service, there were some women who were in the service in the military. Um, and also somebody I met yesterday who I have only known online through some friends of mine, who looks like a, because she's, she's a bodybuilder and a trainer and a fitness woman, she's very, I mean, she's she's, to be real serious, I mean, she's bigger than a lot of men I know. And I'd always wonder what she was like because I thought she was very masculine. 
I couldn't be further from the it couldn't be further from the truth. I was so wrong, and and happily so. I actually got to hang out with this woman, and she's a goofball. She's a very silly, light-hearted woman who's got a lot of power. I mean, physical presence. I mean, she's her muscles are way bigger than mine. I mean, she's seriously very stru- very um, um, bodybuilder type. But who she is is so different from that in so many ways, which is why it's so wonderful when I met her in person to actually fall in love with this woman as a friend and as a new connection, because she was so. Um, heart-centered and it was wonderful at the same time there were some women there um, two three women there who were ex-military um, who different roles in in, in um, different roles in the military thing I didn't I don't which I can't remember which division of the military they were but I also noticed that for two of them in particular they carried an elegance of femininity with them like they had been in the military so they'd gotten the I'd say the poise that they, that they almost have to wear because of being in the military, you've got a big, very, you know, very like stiff, stiff, straight spine. But they were carrying his elegance. That's the way I would describe it. And for me, that was another touch of the feminine in expression. The third one of the women I, talk, I saw there, she actually was still in a certain level of um, getting it done. So again, not necessarily the feminine, but more about getting driven to make things happen because of the way she'd been trained because the thing about the military like the way the culture we live in is is built women who had to learn how to do things the more successfully by copying the men so in the military a lot of women act, had to act like men in that role and also in business women had to act a lot like men and i talked about that one a couple of days ago but what i was aware of in the uh, in the room with the women that were there first of all as a as a healthy straight single masculine man i was certainly enjoying myself <laughs> to be totally transparent and having a lot of fun and connection with the women who were there. But at the same time, I was in, I would say I was in deep gratitude, which I was, but I was also in a deep respect. There was a, there was a level of, um, I think the word I was using was wow, because I was just looking around the room and just seeing these women shining brightly in their feminine. And it was a wow experience for me, which I'm very grateful for. But it also was interesting, because I had some conversations with a lot of these women through the, after, through the afternoon and the evening as well. Well, this kept coming up a lot because when you know it wasn't so much they said what do you, what do you do, we started talking about what are you passionate about, what drives you, what 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 fires you up, which is much more valuable than saying what do you do for a living, because they're not always the same thing. And so when I was talking in response to that question, what came clearer through the evening as it as it as it as it, as it went through the sequence, was that what's really coming through is a world changing mission. Yes. I said that out loud, a world-changing mission. And I've talked about this in different ways before. You may have heard it in my talks. But it's becoming clear that I'm, I'm being called, driven, pushed, nudged, inspired to go speak on a lot of stages in public, not just on video like this, to talk about the need, the requirement, and the vacuum that's been there for women to be in their feminine in the world to save our culture, to save our society and to save our planet yes big world vision as i mentioned so this is one of the things that's really getting my juices stirred (laughs) and it's also coming into some of what i'm doing in the future because i'm really feeling pulled to speak about this more and more because when i spoke about it to these women last night it was a real strong confirmation there was a structured sense of receptivity to what i was talking about and frankly it was very reassuring because for me, it put me back on track and put me in alignment with where I know I'm going. So yes, I'm absolutely passionate about helping my clients um, heal their hearts and attract amazing relationships as part of a bigger picture, which is to raise women up around the planet to be in their feminine. And as I mentioned the earlier, earlier in this talk about how when women are out of alignment for their feminine, they're usually one of two places. That's part of the challenge too, is to help women who are willing to, to shift back into, or I should say remember to be in their feminine, because a lot of women aren't able to even know what it's like until they actually get there. Um, sorry, I had a thought that was coming through and it was going through and it went straight through. Okay, let that one go. So in my work and in my coaching now, that's becoming a, a, a key component of what I do with my clients. So thank you, Sue, I appreciate that. Uh, oh, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, I was, this is actually a Facebook Live I do first that goes onto YouTube later on. So I'm responding to people who are interacting with me there. So if you want to catch me live, watch me on Facebook Live, and I'll give you the links at the back end of the broadcast. Um, so what I'm getting clear about 
more and more from what happened yesterday especially is that where I'm taking my message is beyond the camera beyond this broadcast into live events and networking events and talks where there are a lot of women who can receive this message so I'm going to put a link in the comments for my contact form intentionally so because I'm looking for um, invitations connections discussions with people who lead events who have events who work with large groups of women even small groups of women who are open to having a masculine voice speak in service to the feminine because that's where I'm moving my work in a way towards that at the same time I'm very much about helping you heal your heart and attract amazing relationship if that's something you're looking for help with I'll put a link in the comments as also for the discovery session with me um, hang a second <coughs> And yes, this, this cough is still dragging on about two weeks after I had the cold go away. So that's been interesting today too, and yesterday. So I hope basically this has made some sense to you. If you're a man watching this, I hope it didn't scare you too much. Maybe it woke you up, if, better yet if it did. If you're a woman and you understood the three different places I spoke about, the, the alignment and the two misalignments, ask yourself where you are, if you are in alignment or not because we need you in that feminine space. The world is needing the feminine energy more than ever. And this is a nudge and reminder to that. Um, I think that's really it. I want to just talk about that briefly, put that message out there, put the invitation to work with me and also put the invitation for you to help, for me to work with, um, speak out on stage too. So again, I'll put two links in the comments, one for a, for a contact form, if you look, if you have connections for speaking at other places out in the world because I've been told I've got to stretch into that place. It's becoming very clear now. And secondly, discovery session form if you want to get some help about love and relationships. That's for the ladies. Um, and if you're a man who wants, wants to get some help, use the contact form as well. Thanks for the love, Jermaine. Nice to see you in my broadcast. I haven't seen you for a few days. Um, so I'm about to sign off, but I want to give the links for the replays in case you haven't seen my broadcast before so you know where to find them. First of all, this is my Facebook Live. I do every day. Let's say this now. I said I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, but yesterday I didn't, and tomorrow I probably won't either. Um, I've got a memorial service tomorrow afternoon, which may go late, so I'm guessing I might do it later in the evening. We'll see. So tomorrow may not be 5 p.m. Pacific time, but it will be tomorrow at some point. Um, but normally it's a 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my Facebook page, which which is uh, facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, for anyone who wants to want to watch the try that again, if you haven't seen my broadcast before and you want to watch the replays, you can find them on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby author. Also, you can find them on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. And you can su please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. So watch them there, watch them here. If you watch them on YouTube, you won't see the comments in the low, but you can still respond and, uh, and answer there. So in response to this talk, if you have any questions or thoughts, please put in the comments below, whether you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook. And uh, thank you, Jermaine, I appreciate the feedback. Um, and that's about it. So again, I'm back in tomorrow. I, these topics, again, are never scripted and never planned, really. But I did do a, had the event yesterday, so I didn't have a chance last night to debrief, but I've been thinking about it today so I could debrief that part for you today. So hopefully it's been of inspiration, suggestion. Uh, maybe it's been provocative. Maybe it's challenged you. Maybe you didn't even get it. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. So hopefully it's been of value in some way. And if you have questions, thoughts, please put them below, as I said. And with that, I wish you a pleasant evening. The links will be in the comments afterwards, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.